hours after receiving the news, I found myself dialing her number. I think I said something like, Margaret, it's me, Kate, the girl from last month that interviewed you. And I just got diagnosed with stage four cancer. And then I think I said something really unladylike. Margaret is sitting with me here now, and we've never really talked about this. Do you remember that moment? I do. I do. I think I said some rather unladylike words first because I don't know. I just, I think those are some of the best words that you can hear. Yeah. Because in, in saying unladylike things, it just, I was trying to communicate to you. I'm on Team Kate now and forever, no matter what. And I, yeah. I still remember. Mm. Well, you did. I mean, that's that's exactly what you communicated. You found a way to say something like, I'm on your side, I am with you. And you said something like that we were part of the fellowship of the afflicted. When did you figure out that suffering was a kind of fellowship? Yeah. I think in you know, in my own story um, of getting sick, and we talk about this, like we both got sick in our 30s, yeah. which is not a normal time. No. Right? Like, uh, you just broke the life script. <laughs> yes. Right? And yeah, so people yeah, are like, yeah. uh, I don't know how to interact with you. I don't know what to say to you. I don't know. And at that point, everybody around you is young too. And so you become like the first person in their um, world to, to kind of like do this thing, walk this strange foreign path. And what I figured out pretty early on is there was there was a split in my relationships and my friends. And there were those who somehow knew how to say the right thing and do the right thing. Often they were older. And then there were others who I would just, I would walk away, I felt like just bleeding. Yeah. Um, and, and I was like, what is the difference? And I realized, oh, the people, no matter what age, height, background, any of those things, like if they had walked their own affliction, then they walked among the fellowship of the afflicted. And like in, when you're one of those, often there, there's characteristics I figured out. We often don't say a whole lot. Yes. Uh, we don't have any pat answers. We don't speak with certainty. Wow. And we learn how to just be in the presence of. So it's a gift and something that I appreciate now more than ever. 